What if I told you there's a way to have a business phone system for free? Well, almost for free. Crazy, right? And you can use voice over IP phones or software phones like your smartphone or tablet anywhere to take calls. All you need is internet access. Pretty awesome, right? And did I mention it's free? Well, almost free. So how do we go about taking advantage of this offer? I mean, setting it up. Well, you're in luck because in this video, sponsored by 3CX, I've been tasked with showing you just how easy it is to set up your very own business phone system. I'll even do it step by step and with a smile, once I learn how to smile. And by following this guide by yours truly, you'll have your very own business phone system up and running in no time. And for free. Well, almost free. So what do I mean by that? Well, the only thing you will need to actually pay for is a real world phone number, which is an expensive and I'll show you how to set that up too. All right then, let's jump on to the 3CX webpage linked in the video description. In the pricing section, you can see the free plan allows up to 10 users to use the service for free, forever. See, I wasn't joking, it's the real deal. So how isn't it completely free? Good question. What you need to do is bring your own SIP trunk at session initiation protocol, which is basically a virtual phone line with a real world phone number people can dial from their cell phone or landline. This then gets diverted to the phone devices you set up with 3CX. And of course, when you call someone from your 3CX device, the business phone number will be displayed as the caller ID. Cool bananas. But before we worry about the SIP trunk, let's go ahead and get our phone system up and running. I'll show you just how easy it really is. So on the pricing page, we can scroll down to the bottom and select the free option. Now we need to sign up, either with an email or Google account. Name, Robtech. Yep, that's my real name. Then plonk in your email address. And once you hit the let's go button, you receive an email with a verification code. Check your spam folder if you can't find it. I'll just put mine in here. Okay, we're verified. Congratulations. Now you just need to fill out this form to complete the account registration. Oh, 3CX wants a proper fancy password. Okay then. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 isn't going to cut it. Hey, look, it's Wilson. Wilson, I'm sorry! Alright, so as promised, we're going with the free version. That's calls, live chat, and WhatsApp for up to 10 users. It's hosted by 3CX and is free forever. Whew, now's a good time to grab a drink, coffee, tea, hot chocolate, beer, whatever you. Oh, it's done already. Make sure to save your credentials somewhere safe. I don't recommend writing it on the palm of your hand. Trust me, from experience. The extension number for me is 43110. Let's just log into our account with a link here, or we can log in with Google if you signed up that way. Otherwise, it's by the extension number. Okay, once you log in, you can grab the app for iOS or Android. What, you're telling me Windows Phone is not supported? I miss Windows Phone. Well, Android it is then. Okay, so I install the app on my phone, following the prompts, point it at the QR code screen, and we're ready to rock. Just need to grab my guitar, amplifier, and distortion pedal. But playing solo sucks. We need to form a band. So to actually call another one of our team members, we need to add them to our system. How do we do that? Well, click the admin button cogwheel, configure users, add user. The email field is essential, so don't go putting in a fakey. All right, save it when finished. Once a team member is added, they'll receive an email and can set a password for their account and then log in. And the setup process is the same. 
Install the 3CX app on the second device and then scan the QR code from that account. The team member can do this by pressing the QR code button. You can go ahead and do this for up to 10 devices, however many you need. It's that easy. Now I can call my team members without even a real phone number, just from the contacts in the app or by their extension. Hi, I'm looking for Hugh. Last name, Jazz. Oh, I'm Hugh Jazz. Telephone. And yes, it does support video calls as well. As long as we have access to the internet, we can now call each other as needed. Okay, cool. Team members, go nuts. But we're all business here, right? And a business needs to be able to take phone calls. So now we're going to take care of that little task, which unfortunately isn't free. But don't go clicking away just yet, because it's not too bad. So first up, we need to get a phone number and then connect it to our 3CX system. This is called a SIP trunk and allows the regular phone network onto our system. So how do we get that done? Well, start by going to admin, voice and chat, and add trunk. Select your country and you will be given a list of compatible trunk providers. You can then search them online, check the prices, see what's on offer, and choose the best one for you. The first one is fine for me. It's around $10 Aussie per month for a phone number and one line. Once I signed up for an account, I received an email with the SIP trunk details. Now I just need to enter the details. The main trunk number is the one people will call you with. I'll just enter that in. The authentication ID. And then the password. Save that and we should be all good. Just be aware it takes a bit of time to update and authenticate. So now we can actually have that beverage break. Five minutes later. Okay, I've refreshed a few minutes later and we're green and good to go. Awesome. If not, make sure you enter the details correctly. By default, when someone calls the business, it will be routed to me. But I want to test it from my phone device. And to test it, I'm going to call the business number I bought from my phone and route it to Hugh's phone. To do that, click on call routing. Okay, I'm choosing user Hugh. You might have noticed it says when the office is open, it will route calls to Hugh. You can also choose where calls should go when the office is closed or when the team is on a break. By default, it's set to go to my voicemail box. Change those as needed. We also need to assign the phone number to the office. If I call the number now, it will go straight to voicemail as I haven't specified when the office is actually open. So add the office hours. You can also add the break hours. I never take breaks. Okay, and now that we have office opening hours and they match the time zone, we're ready to test it. I'll just dial my new number. Ah, the sweet, sweet sound of success. I'm now open for business with my very own legit phone number. Pretty cool, right? So what we've done is create a free business account with 3CX, added a couple of users and configured a real world phone number for customers to dial into or for us to call from. 3CX will also notify you in the app if you've missed calls, have a voicemail and also send you the same notification via your email account. So it really is a fully professional business phone system and I think the free edition is very generous with one number, one line, up to 10 users and it's free forever. Call quality is great and setup is painless. I'm not a network guy and that stuff doesn't really interest me, but this was simple and it just worked. So you can follow my guide to get you started. For the larger companies, if your business is running Office 365, integration with 3CX is supported as are a bunch of CRM and help desks, such as Salesforce, Freshdesk, HubSpot, and so on. And I think that about covers it. There's a lot of great features here and you can trial it yourself anytime. I'd like to thank 3CX for reaching out and sponsoring this video, and that's all for this one. See you next time. Cheers.